Good day, future teachers. This is part 3 of the series of video tutorials as a reviewer in your licensure examination for teachers, specifically Gen Ed Mathematics. Okay, let's get started. Number one problem, what are the prime factors of 224? Okay, now to answer this problem, kailangan alam natin yung tinatawag na prime numbers. Ano nga ba itong tinatawag na prime numbers? Now, when you say prime numbers, ibig sabihin yan, ang factors niya ng number na yun ay 1 at ang sarili niya. Okay, let's have for example, 2 is a prime number. Kasi ang factors lang yan ay 2 times 1. Diba? Wala nang iba. 5 is also a prime number. Kasi ang factors niya lang ay 5 and 1. Diba? Wala nang iba. And let's say 11. Ang factors lang ng 11 ay 11 times 1. How about 9? Can we consider 9 a prime number? No. Kasi meron tayong, maliban sa 9 times 1, meron tayong 3 times 3. So 9 is not a prime number. So marami pa yung prime numbers. Okay, now the, uh, the smallest uh, positive prime number is 2. 1 is not considered as prime. Okay, tatandaan yan, 1 is not considered as prime. So therefore, to answer this, kailangan alam natin kung ano yung mga prime factors ng 224. Okay, maraming proseso ng pagkuha ng prime factors, but then, uh, tuturo ko yung 3 method, no? Okay, so what we're going to do is, sanap tayo ng factors ng 224. Uh, ang ginagawa ko dito, Divide ko lang muna siya sa 2 or 3. Na kasi mas madali. So, pwede bang i-divide sa 2 yan? Yes, that is, that is 112 times 2. So, dito, yung 2 natin ay prime na yan. So, it is one of the prime factors ng 224. So, ganun din. Hanapin natin yung factors ng 112. Mm, gamitin ulit natin yung 2 para mas madali. Uh, 2 times 56. Okay, kasi 56 times 2, that's 112. Yung 2, wala na siyang factors. Uh, wala na siyang factors maliban sa 2 times 1, no? So, this is one of the prime factors. Ano naman yung factors ng 56? That's, that is 28 times 2. So, 2, kasama na yan sa prime factors. Yung 28 naman, ano ang factors niyan? That's 14 times 2. So, 2, 1 of the prime factors. Ito namang 14 ay 7 times 2. Okay. Now, si 7 ba? Is it a prime? Yes. No? Kasi ang factors lang yan, 7 times 1. Okay? So, therefore, ito na ngayon yung ating prime factors. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. Or, pwede rin naman sa ibang choices, 2 raised to the power of 5 or to the fifth power times 7. Pero ganito kasi ang choices natin. So, alin dito yung ating sagot? That is letter D. Now, actually, ito yung tip ko sa inyo kapag ito ang lumabas sa exam. Kahit hindi mo ito gawin yung, yung three method, okay? Tingnan nyo na lang yung choices. So, tingnan nyo muna alin dyan sa mga choices ang merong hindi prime. Okay? Yung letter A, 4. 4 is not prime kasi mayroong 2 times 2. So, therefore, eliminate na itong letter A. I-check mo rin yan kapag minultiply mo ito. Na let's say 2 times yung letter B. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. Is it 224? Parang hindi siya 224 eh. Parang uh, pag minultiply natin yan, that is 504. So, it is not our answer. Okay? So, yung letter C naman, pag minultiply naman natin yan, I think that's 336. So, malawang hindi na ito ang sagot. Okay? So, by elimination, makukuha na natin ang sagot. Pero at least, alam mo na no, kung paano kunin using 3 method. Okay? Let's have number 2. A square lot has an area of 144 square meters. What is the length of each side of a lot? Okay, now, so, remember that yung area ng square... The formula niyan ay A, area of square is equal to S squared, wherein S uh, represents 
the measurement ng side ng isang square. So, so tandaan na yung square ay merong apat na equal or congruent side. So, itong side na to, congruent siya dito. Congruent yung apat na yan. Okay? So, that is a square. Now, so in, kung ang area niya daw is 144, so if the area is 144, ang hinahanap, ilan yung side, yung measurement ng side ng square na yan. So, ibig sabihin yung S. Now, uh, pwede nyong isolve ito, ano? Um, by getting yung kanyang square root. Bakit natin kinuha ang square root nito? Para ma-cancel out yan. So, we have now S. Uh, what is the square root of 144? That is... 12. Okay? So, therefore, our answer is letter A. Actually, kahit hindi natin isolve yan no, using our formula, eh, tingnan mo na lang sa choices dito. Ito ang, ang, ang tip, ano? Tingnan nyo na lang sa choices. Alin dyan, ang pag multiply mo sa sarili, ang sagot is 144. Of course, that is 12. Okay? Kasi ang area ng square ay S squared. Ibig sabihin, multiply natin sa sarili yung kanyang side. Number three, how many years are there in a decade? Okay. Now, ito, no, uh, kailangan mo lang tandaan ito. Ano? So, we have now the units para dito sa time. Okay. One biennium, that is equal to two years. One lost room, that is equal to five years. One decade, ten years. One century is one hundred years. One millennium is one thousand years. So, definitely, our answer is letter T. Okay? So, tandaan na. Madali lang naman tandaan yan. Na? Let's have number four. The number of students sa Maligaya National High School increased from 900 in school year 2019-2020 to 1,494 in school year 2020 to 2021. What is the rate of increase in the number of students? Okay, so, para makuha natin yung rate nito, kailangan natin munang isubtract, no? Yung enrollment kayon, which is 1,094, minus yung enrollment last school year, that is 900. So, if we subtract that, okay, the answer is 594. Ibig sabihin, 594 ang in-increase na number of students. Pero ilang percent yan compared doon sa 900? Okay? To find the percent, so ang gagawin natin, itong 594, ang gagawin natin, i-compare natin siya sa 900. Kunin natin yung percent yan. So, 594 divided by 900. So, if we divide that, 594 divided by 900, ang sagot dyan ay 0 0.66. Now, para maging percent yan, just move two decimal places to the right, so magiging 66%. So, our answer is letter C. Okay? Now, bakit natin dinivide sa 900? Kasi that is the baseline data. Okay, kaya doon natin siya i-compare. Doon natin kukunin yung na, a percent ng increase. Number 5. Find the next three numbers in the sequence 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, itong, okay, itong 1, we, we get this 1 by adding 0 and 1. So, 0 plus 1 is 1. Itong 2 naman, 1 plus 1 is 2, diba? Itong 3 is 1 plus 2. Itong 5 is 3 plus 2. Itong 8 naman, 5 plus 3. Ibig sabihin, we get the number, the next number in the sequence by adding the last two numbers, okay? So, therefore, we add this one. 8 plus 13, that is equal to 21, diba? And 21 plus 13, that is 34. And 34 plus 21, 55. So, therefore, our answer is letter B. Actually, pag sequence, tingnan mo lang naman yung i-observe mo lang. No? Minsan nag add tayo, minsan naman nagsusubtract tayo, or minsan nag-divide, nag-multiply. Pero in this case, 
ang sequence na ng, ang ginawa to get the next se sequence is you add the last two numbers. Actually, this sequence is what we called Fibonacci sequence. Okay? Fibonacci sequence. So, baka lumabas na nito sa exam, ano? The Fibonacci sequence. So, Fibonacci sequence, we get the next number by adding the last two numbers. Okay? I hope nakatulong itong video tutorial sa iyong exam. Okay? 